What is up, 1320 fans? And welcome to a brand new video series we're calling 1320 Garages. Now, the point of this video series is we're gonna go find the coolest, baddest, fastest car collections of garages we can find all across the country. To kick this thing off, we are here in Omaha, Nebraska with a familiar face you guys definitely will recognize. And he's got a lot of badass cars, cool garage, and let's go check it out right now. Hello. Hey, I'm Kyle Loftus. Welcome to my garage. Thanks for Come inviting on in. us. All right, so familiar face. Yeah. We're here with Kyle, 1320 Garages. We've been working on trying to do this for a while. We're kicking yeah. off with your garage. I finally have all my cars in one spot and most of them are running really good. I was about to say, that's the reason why we had to wait for so long <laughs> was we had to get all of your vehicles running at one oh time. Oh my gosh. Now let's kick it off. This is your garage. Give us a tour. All right. Well, the garage itself is uh, right around 1,320 square feet. I'm not making that up. <laughs> Um, if you look at the garage over there, this one is actually uh, four feet higher than the garage we're standing in right now. Okay. But our warehouse needed a new spot. So over on the bigger side, uh, we raised the, that was part of the deal was they had to raise the garage so I could fit my trailer in there. We ran our merch warehouse out of it for Back about a, a year and a half. But now you can see we don't have room for any more cars. Right, all right. Uh, let alone merch, so. <laughs> I'm proud of my flags right here. It's a lot of the things that are important to me in my life. You know, we love Australia. Mighty Car Mods is from Australia. Uh, we got American flag higher than the other of ones. Of course. So, yeah. Um, 1320 video. And then, of course, the best street racing country in the world. And then Colorado is my favorite place in the world to go visit. So. There you go. And I'm not a sports guy, but of course, we got the Huskers no, here. I got the Huskers. You got so, the Huskers. Um, these are not very clean, but we got all of our 1320 street shine and supplies in here. Okay, so every good car guy has a garage fridge. Yes. Do you have a garage fridge? I do, it's Let's a very small one. I'm looking at upgrading it soon because <laughs> I can't fit a whole lot in it, but um, I, don't, I don't spend that much time in my garage. I don't work on cars. So there's just minimal stuff in here that's the necessities. So we've got- Only some, the essentials. Yeah, some, some of my favorite beers. I'm a stout guy, uh, Dragon's Milk. It's my favorite stout you can find just about anywhere. Is there anything that you couldn't live without in this garage right now? Oh boy. Now I, I'm gonna say this because you haven't pointed out yet. You do have a heater. Oh th yeah. Th that, that's one of the, cr yeah. I have one in my garage. Like I gotta say, that's <laughs> really freaking nice to have. I would say just the floors. You have to have the coated floors. That's my favorite part about the garage. Okay, okay. So we've seen the garage. Now people want to see all of your cars. Yeah. So personal cars, fun cars, all that. Yep. Let's start over here. With, yeah, let's start here where we're at. Uh, so we've got the 2500 Duramax here. I had to buy this because I needed something to haul my cars with gotcha. behind a trailer. Um, and it works great. It's got like 120,000 miles on or something like that and runs like it's brand new. And then this, oh my God. I, I get to ride in the backseat of this all the time. <laughs> so I like this thing a lot. Uh, yeah, this is one of my favorites because uh, it's just so nice. It, the, we used to have a 2015 Yukon. Yeah. And this is like four to eight inches bigger everywhere around. It's, yes. Look, it's as tall as my Duramax. It's that big. It just makes it so much nicer inside. All right. Now for the fun side. Yes. Okay. So getting to the more fun cars. Uh, this is actually my second GS350 F Sport. Lexus. White with red interior. White with red you interior. Got a, you got a thing for these cars. Yeah, I love these cars. So I bought one as a lease 2015 when it was new, or 2013 when it was new, and I don't know, two-year lease, and I drove it like I wasn't gonna keep it, and then at the end of the lease, I wanted to keep it, and I couldn't because I beat the crap out of it. For two years, I looked for a new daily, and I could not find anything I liked for the same price. And like when the crew was on the road and I was at home, I didn't have anything to drive. Like my race cars are broken. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm like, I, I gotta get something else. And I bought the exact same car and I do not regret it. Um, moving okay. on. Let's move on to- ZR1? Yeah. Let's do the ZR1. All right, so- 2000, is 2010, right? Yep, 2010, ZR1. Um, whole lot of stuff done to it. Like everything but the bottom end pretty much. This is- this is a car I've had since 2013, I think. I bought it with 8,000 miles on mm -hmm. it. Ever since I bought it, I decided I'll never sell this car. This is literally, as far as I'm concerned, this is the best Corvette that's out right now. Okay, real quick, <clears throat> I just want to highlight the, yep. the, the panda in the room, I guess you could say. Why are all of your cars white? You know, I, 
I, I don't know why I like white cars, but any car that you can think of, it doesn't matter what kind of cars, Econo, Box, anything, it, they all look good in white. It, you, you look at one color in the sun and then you buy it and then in the shade it looks like a completely different color. White always looks good. Let's move on to the C5. Okay. So this is this was like your first like real <clears throat> race car. car. Yeah, this is yeah. my first project build. Yep. It's a 01 Speedway White Z06. 01, 01 Speedway White Z06. There's 352 in white and 157 with red interior. Yeah. Um, and it's yeah, a very rare car to find. Mm -hmm. But it has 427 Texas Speed Engine with her on speed twin turbo kit. And then RPM uh, Transmissions did the TR6060 build. And then the diff is uh, built by them as well. Like the, this car was built to be a street car. And you can see I have all the stock interior. It's 3,600 pounds and it's running 907. It's, it's a stick car, but not only that, it is a TR6060 synchro transmission, not a dog box, not, not a base plated, no, nothing. Not, nothing, no G4 gear set, nothing. I wanted to do it as a street car with a regular transmission. Now, for my personal, I don't know, I'm a Corvette guy, but I'm also an Audi guy, so my yep. personal favorite, the R8. Yep. Let's talk about it real yep. quick. So this is, this is, I, I didn't know it was a realistic dream car 11 years ago when I rode an SW's twin turbo Lambo, but I've been obsessed with twin turbo V10s ever since I heard the first one. Same. It is the best sounding, best performing, ultimate street car, do anything with it. Literally this thing drives like stock, sounds mostly like stock, this interior is completely stock, nothing's new in it, and it runs 860s. I, I don't care to push this platform any further because it's literally perfect at 1,320 horsepower. Mm -hmm. It is literally perfect. And I made that plate right there just to remind myself that it's perfect and that I don't need to go any further. Right. And it's not a race car. This is the least race car car I have and it's the fastest one I have. <laughs> It's, it's amazing. That's just the, how uh, AMS and all of them just oh, build yeah. these things. AMS like. does such a fantastic job. The MoTeC system in here is amazing. I'll get to more of that in a little bit. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, as part of these 1320 garages, we want to take out your top three favorite cars. And don't tell me what they are, because I on it, we talked about this beforehand, and I don't even know which three they are. Yeah. Take me to number three. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're gonna take the Lexus out first. What? Yeah. <laughs> the Lexus is number three? Yeah. If you ask me the three cars that I will never, like, I, I won't sell, like, I get rid of everything, three left, this is number three for sure. Okay. Like, I literally sold one and I bought another one. I liked it so much. That's actually it a good way to look at it. The best daily I've ever had. All right. First of all, Something we need to do on every single one of these. I need to see the key. Oh, okay. Some keys are fancy. That's a good than idea. Others. I like that. Some. some this one's not real blade. exciting, but it's actually like, it's one of the most durable keys I've ever had. And okay. The, one of the coolest things about this car is when you start it. Watch the seat, the steering wheel. See the sides here? Yeah. They like it moves forward and it hugs you. Ooh, and then the wheel the wheel moves too. That sold me right there. It's like, it gets it gets in and you're just like, let's go drive. <laughs> like, all right. What, what does this have for a power plant? Is it V6, yeah? Uh, yeah. Natural, yeah, V6, naturally 230 aspirated. horsepower? It's nothing crazy. But it's not really about the power. This car is the only car I've ever owned that I didn't have to fix anything on. Like, if you look at this interior, that, that's also what sold me. It has like the red interior, but it's like a muted red interior. It's like, it's like a maroon. Yeah. It's like a burgundy. It's, it's, a, uh, it's, it's a Chardonnay. Oh, yeah. is that what they call it? It is. That's fancy. All right, give it the beans. This is about all it's got. No. Really? Yeah. Well, not quite, but you hear the sound of the engine. They have something with the intake that makes it louder inside the cabin, the, really? e the engine noise. To give you like a sporty feel? Yeah, there's like this little snorkel thing that just plums some Volkswagen has those. Yeah, Volkswagen it's does pretty that too. cool. Uh, so that is the, mo the, the most power it has, but to be peppier, you can change this button right here. You rotate it to the right and it shows you Sport S, and then you rotate it to the right, it's Sport S Plus, Ooh. and it changes the steering tightness, and it changes the suspension, and then the engine's more responsive. Usually. <laughs> and then when you brake, 
it downshifts when it yep it downshifts for you it's like it feels like you're in a race car yeah kind of. and then even better is that the suspension is way stiffer than without it it's like we're going 70 miles an hour sorting back and forth well, we're going the speed limit sorting back and forth right now <laughs> but then if you just want to click it back into eco mode then it's nice and soft again and you don't really want to do 70 miles an hour in oh, eco mode geez. it's like <laughs> it's a boat <laughs> And that's why... That's so crazy that like, it has that big of a difference. It looks so much better lowered, but you lose that. Right. I love that feature. Yeah. All right, I can see why this is number three, then. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I love this car. Like, I'm going to keep this until I find something I like better. And I haven't been able to find anything better. There you go. So it's, it's a little bit better in the Sport Plus with the throttle response. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But, like, look at the interior. Look at, look at the dash in here. It's like all formed and it just looks like everything fits. It flows nicely. Yeah, the door sills, there's little accent lights at night, and then all of the red is underneath, so it's like it's not overbearing. Mm -hmm. It's all, yeah. All right, let's go play with some fast cars. <laughs> yeah. Now that we've seen number three. That's what three, everybody's waiting for. <laughs> now that we've seen number three, we need to go check out number two. Yeah. <laughs> That one might surprise you too. <laughs> I was about to say, we don't, I don't know what these are until they tell me what they are. So this is number three. Let's go check out. Write in the comments right now what you think number two is going to be out of the seven cars. All right. We've seen number three. Yep. Now take me to number two. Let's do a ride along in that one. You know it's going to be a truck, right? Like it's definitely. Yeah, of a course. Of course it's going to be a truck. <laughs> Can you guess? Let's no. Put. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess that it's going to be the ZR1 because you just got it back and you're happy about it. For number two? Yeah. No, 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 we're taking the R8. What? Yeah. This is, okay. All right, I'm genuinely surprised that this is number two right I know now. a lot of you are confused right now, but when I get to number one, it'll make more sense. Gotcha. All right. Okay. First of all, let's see that key fob. Key, oh, fob, key yep. fob check. Yep. The folks at home need to see what a twin turbo R8 key fob looks like. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. It's it feels a little less solid than the uh, the Lexus, but at least it's easier to pull the key out, I suppose. Um, so before, while the car is warming up here, one of the coolest things about how all this works is the Motec in here keeps everything factory in here like literally the only thing that's not factory is right down here there's this red cup if i push that button we're gonna get a uh, fire put out so we don't want to do that oh i didn't know you had a fire suppression system <laughs> yeah yeah there's a bottle up front um when i built the car i said we're not building a car without fire suppression because i've been on fire a few times before. right so here's where the motec's really cool so on my cruise control over here you push the you hold the button right here and then that's going to take you into your power settings. Oh, so that's settings. So it's going. Yeah, from these one, are all two. set. So it's one through six. Let's do. Let's do three. Okay. We'll, we'll start what's, there. What's three good for? I think that's like. I think that's like three. Or that's like like, eleven fifty. Okay. There's nothing else out there, that is better for the street, than a V10. Twin turbo car. I've ridden in a handful, and I got it. Yeah. It, like the, these, these just rule all everything. Okay, so this has the AMS, I guess. It's an Alpha 12 package. We'll say we'll say Alpha Kyle package because yeah. it's a little bit bigger than an Alpha 12. <laughs> it's the it's the 1320 package. At, at They've AMS. always made their packages to be the number to be a little bit lower than what they can right. make, and usually right. they make the number to what it makes when they first develop the package, uh -huh. and then they slowly figure out that they can make more. Um, AMS has never satisfied with any of their packages they're always improving on they're always improving on the transmission tune that's the most important thing that i've noticed over the last two years of well year and a half of having this car built is that the transmission tune just keeps evolving and every time they update it right now it is the best this car has ever driven the tran you barely even feel it shift It really doesn't get old. And that was at what, 11 ish? 1100? Yeah. It does not get old.
literally steering with your leg. Like, <laughs> it's just that easy. <laughs> and they make the same consistent noise, just like it's oh, it's so good. Oh, yeah. you know? Well, let's talk about the stands, wheels and tires. Oh yeah, you got some HREs huh. on this thing. I now. didn't want to put wheels and tires on this car because the beauty of it is it it runs eights and it looks factory. Mm -hmm. But I've always wanted a car to put HREs on, and this car was perfect for that. So this isn't just your your cruiser around town. You did race week with this thing. Yeah, like, yeah, we did. How many miles, miles have you put on it? Uh, we did, we did like 1,400 that week. Okay. <laughs> it's the anti-lag hits that get you. Yeah. The, those are the good ones. Cause you're like, oh, f that's about yep. to happen. So why is this number two? Well, the reason it's number two is because it's so, and it's not a bad thing, but it just doesn't scare me. Like, okay, let's see what, let's see what, uh... About bump up the power a little bit. Where right, we at? Where let's at? just go all of it. Oh, this is, okay, we're yeah. going to do all of it. Yeah. Is it anti-lag or...? No. Take a nap while I'm going that fast. Yeah. Check this out. They gave me a couple flamethrower maps. I was about to say. <laughs> now, now, did Martin do that just for you, or is that for, okay? That's a Kyle only feature. Yeah. Just perfect timing. No, it didn't. Yep. We got fourth gear. No. It's fine. I, it's fine. This is why I don't like the transmissions in this car. No. Okay, so this is number two for, uh, I guess, obvious reasons now. Uh, yep. We're going to let Matt ride with you for yep. number one. Yeah. Because uh, he said this car apparently just doesn't do it for him anymore. <laughs> so, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to hand it over to Matt, and he's going to ride with number one for you. All right. For number one, your top favorite child right now. <laughs> Take your pick. What do you got? All right. So there's only the Unicorn, the ZR1, and the pickup left. It's definitely not the truck. And the unicorn right here, the ZR1. Up until a week and a half ago, this was not my favorite car. It's probably number three, maybe two. But thanks to this shop right here, this is my number one favorite car again. I will never sell this car. Perfect right now. <laughs> well, I would I would interview, ask you more questions about it, but it'd be more interesting. Yeah, Matt's gonna hop in. Car. So Matt's gonna get in, go for a ride, go have some fun. Yeah. Good luck, man. Thanks, man. It just got louder. So Kyle lives in a really nice neighborhood. I hope his neighbors are really cool because that thing is louder. Obviously, I got to see the key fob. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so definitely my least favorite key fob, probably out of everything I've ever owned. Um, they just made these really if you take the electrical tape off here real quick, oh boy, you'll see what I'm talking about. Is it gonna fall apart? It might. It's just. Ooh, that's yeah. not good. All right. So, what reasons is this car the favorite? What made this one the top number one over the R8? Uh, well, as I told Fred, um, the R8 just doesn't scare me. And if if you're gonna have a car that's fast, like really fast. It's kind of scary a little bit to really give you the full experience. Here we go. Yeah, we'll Best part of this car. Yeah, open up those cutouts. Yeah. Right. Everything. We 
we replaced the engine, they ported the heads, they ported the blower again, they ported the snout again. Um, we replaced all of the stuff in it with their the Synergy stuff. Uh, it's got the new Synergy heat exchanger, has the Synergy intake. Uh, I think there's one other Synergy part on here, I don't remember. But uh, it is it's 891 horsepower to the wheels. Like, Shane, you should have kept on the dyno till about 900, but I'm just going to call it 900 horsepower ZR1. Because uh, why not? Right. Pretty much nine, right? <laughs> Tires. Did I you know. leave black marks? Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> the R8 doesn't make me smile like this. No, this this thing is just so much more raw. Also, it makes the side view mirrors, whatever position you put it in, that's open. And then this is closed, and it, it'll open when you hit a certain RPM. But there's a third feature that I like, and that's stealth mode. It says quiet mode on the dash, but I like to call it stealth mode. So when you have it in stealth mode, Usually the cutouts open at a certain RPM, but with stealth mode, this is what it does. the weirdest sound ever. suspension retuned the mag right on these does not work right from the factory it actually doesn't really do anything and there's a guy named jim jim morrow that retunes these and he actually made a tune for me so when you switch over to your mode it loosens the suspension up and you'll see you'll see the front end lift up like crazy softer than the factory so the guy Jim Marrow who does this he was actually the guy that engineered it from the factory and he quit and now he's doing his own thing and he travels the country retuning this for GM to make it the way it should have been from the factory that's awesome which is really cool <laughs> bit of driving there. Yeah. There's the brakes. Yeah, that still scares <laughs> the shit out of me. <laughs> Kyle had to test out the carbon ceramics on that one. This is what the car is most famously known for on my Snapchat. There's a golf, golf course right here. I told you, he likes tormenting those golfers, man. All right, so that is why it's number one. 
<laughs> that thing, I don't, it li I don't know what they did. It sounds like a jet engine when you. Oh, it. that. So that was stealth mode. Um, you can have the cutouts open. You can have them closed, and they open at like 4,000 RPM, or you can shut them completely. Oh. Yeah. So when you went by those last two poles, we were like, "What the." F was that? I love that sound. We've seen your top three, so we need to see your garage. Yep. What's next for the Kyle Loftus? Oh! What, what do we got next? Okay, so I just ordered a Hellcat jailbreak charger. Really? Which is 800 horsepower from the factory. I was about to say, what's jailbreak? I haven't heard of uh, So the jailbreak part of it is you can take it to the dealer, they put a pulley and a tune on it, and it makes like up to not, up almost 900 horsepower with a warranty. Really? And how soon are you getting that? Uh, I ordered it two weeks ago. It's supposed to take two or three months. Okay. So that'll be here soon. And then I actually just bought for my 40th birthday present a uh, TRD Pro 4Runner, which I've wanted for like three or four years. Very nice. I have something for pretty much anything once I have the 4Runner here. You think? Until you think of another car. Yeah, I don't know. So on top of the seven cars we just saw, we got a, a jailbreak Hellcat and a TRD Pro on the way. Yep. All right. Well, thank you yeah. for letting us come see your garage. I've been in this garage a, like a thousand times, but it's cool that everybody gets to see what you, what you daily drive all the way to your race cars and everything like that. Yep. Yeah, you get to see it all now. Thank you. You're welcome. And we'll see, well, actually, we're, we'll see you in the next episode because <laughs> you're filming these things. Of course. Yeah. All right, guys, that's going to do it for our first episode of 1320 Garages. If you guys know of a collection, cool garage, crazy fast stuff, anything like that, that we need to see, leave it in the comments below. Maybe we'll check it out. With that being said, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.